episode of Sports Center here on ESPN 12. Hi, I'm Rebecca Sullivan. I'm here with Aaron Bella Pryor. This hour, we'll be looking at this week's highlights from our favorite sports. Let's go to skateboarding first. Yesterday in Glastonbury, we caught this little clip. <laughs> Makes you dizzy, huh? This is such a perfect example of conservation of energy. Look at how his potential energy at the top of the half pipe is converted into kinetic at the bottom of the pipe, and then back to potential. He reaches the same height above on the pipe on both ends because his energy is conserved. Rough, just wiped out. Let's look at that again. See how he hovers above the pipe for a second there? At that point, his potential energy is equal to the amount of kinetic energy he had at the bottom of the pipe. Now let's look at last night's curling match between Canada and Scotland. This was one of the best matches I've seen since the Olympics. There were some beautiful plays on both sides. Look at that concentration etched into his countenance. And here it goes. The stone is off across the ice. We're sweeping furiously, and oh, oh, oh! oh I can't believe that play! What an upset! Let's take a look at that again. This is really beautiful to watch. It's such a thrilling sport. And what's even more wonderful is the amount of physics involved in this. The key to curling is the force applied to the stone to push it across the ice. And the sweep is reduced friction by wiping the ice down. The stone's inertia can then propel it onto the target. Now, let's look at last night's badminton highlights. This was a thrilling match for sure. That it was. People underestimate the skill and concentration that's required to play professional badminton, especially at this level. These players are really showcasing the principles of momentum and impulse. The players change the momentum of the shuttlecock by applying a force of their rackets, reversing its direction. Did you see that? Did you see that? What strategy? <laughs> let's bring that back one more time. Oh, what a beautiful swing right there. All right, let's go to free running. Such a fascinating sport. The sport is also a perfect example of Newton's third law of motion. The free runners are able to make these fantastic leaps and run up walls like this because they push against the surface into the floor, a wall, or a bar, and the object pushes back at them with the same force. But because the runner is less massive, they have a greater acceleration and are propelled away. This is just incredible. I love that being a ninja has become a legal sport. Now with just a few minutes left, let's go to the racetrack. They say no sport's more American. Always going in circles. How many times are they going to turn left? A few hundred. Well, the physics of NASCAR is much more interesting than the sport itself. The friction from the ground on the, on the tires is the driving centripetal force that allows the cars to take these turns at such high speeds. Centripetal force, often confused with centrifugal force thanks to Faith Hill, is the force pulling the cars in towards the center of the track and keeping them from flying off into the stands. It's the same force keeping the water in the bucket when you swing it around. And those are this week's highlights from our favorite sports. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Sports.